Hello, welcome to Children's Church. We've been studying a unit about Joseph. In this unit, our Bible verses from Colossians 3.13. As the Lord has forgiven you, you must also forgive. Our word for this unit is forgiveness. Remember, forgiveness means when you have anger in your heart that you let it go. This is something that God calls us to do. In our stories about Joseph, we first heard about him as being one of 12 sons of Jacob. And in the story we heard about, Jacob gave Joseph this beautiful coat of many colors. And Joseph's 10 older brothers didn't get pretty coats. And they were mad because they thought their father liked Joseph the best. Then Joseph started having dreams. He dreamed that there were 12 bundles of wheat representing the 12 brothers. And in his dream, his bundle of wheat was in the middle and the other bundles of wheat all bowed down to his. He told his brothers that dream and that made them really mad. They said, you think we're gonna bow down to you, our little brother? Then he had another dream. He dreamed that he and his brothers were like stars in the sky and his dad was like the sun and his mom like the moon. And in his dream, all of the other stars and the moon and the sun all bowed down to his star. He told his family that dream. And they didn't like that either. Even as dad said, do you think your mother and I are going to bow down to you? The brothers were really mad. They, they hated Joseph. One day they were out watching their sheep and they saw Joseph coming and they said, let's just kill him and we'll put blood on that fancy coat of his and tell dad a wild animal ate him. And then the oldest brother Reuben said, no, we can't kill him. He's our brother. And so what they decided to do was throw Joseph into a dry well that was nearby. There's Joseph down in the well. And then they saw a caravan going by with a bunch of merchants and their camels taking wares to Egypt to sell. They said, why don't we sell Joseph and make some money and he can go off to Egypt and be a slave. So that's what they did. There's Joseph behind the caravan that's going to Egypt. Here's the pyramids off in Egypt where they're going. When Joseph got to Egypt, the men in the caravan sold him to a man named Potiphar and Joseph worked for him. But one day, Potiphar threw Joseph in jail for something he didn't even do. Now, do you think that would make Joseph have anger in his heart? I do. But while Joseph was in jail, he met a man who worked for Pharaoh. Now, Pharaoh was like the king or the ruler of all of Egypt. This man was the cupbearer for Pharaoh, and he was having dreams and he wondered what they meant. Joseph prayed to God and God told him what the cup bearer's dream meant and he told him. And when the dream came true, the cup bearer thought, wow, that Joseph, he really knows what dreams mean. Later on, Pharaoh himself, remember he's the ruler of all of Egypt, he started having dreams and they really worried him. And he asked all of his counselors and advisors what did my dreams mean? And nobody could tell him. And then the cupbearer remembered, hey, there's this guy named Joseph that I met. And he told me what my dream meant. And it came true. So maybe he can help you, Pharaoh. So Pharaoh sent the cupbearer to get Joseph. When Joseph came to Pharaoh, Pharaoh said, you must tell me what my dreams mean. And Joseph said, I can't tell you, but my God can. And Joseph prayed, and then Pharaoh told him the dreams. In one of the dreams, Pharaoh said, There are seven fat cows that come out of the Nile River, and then seven skinny cows come out of the river, and they eat the fat cows. What in the world does this mean? Joseph prayed to God, and God revealed to him that what it meant was there would be Seven years where there's plenty of food and the crops were really good. and Everybody had enough to eat. And then there would be seven years with no food and the crops would fail and everyone would go hungry. And Pharaoh 
said, well, Joseph, what do we do? And Joseph said, God has given you this dream for a reason. And the reason is because we can save a lot of people with God's plan. And Pharaoh said, what is God's plan? And God's plan was for the seven good years when there's plenty of food and plenty of crops that Pharaoh could have grain stored away in storehouses. And then when the seven bad years came, the grain could be brought out and used to feed the people. Pharaoh thought that was a really good plan. And so he decided he would put Joseph in charge. So Joseph was put in charge of the whole food program for Egypt. That's a pretty exciting story, isn't it? A lot of things are happening to Joseph. But also in the stories, we see that there's a lot of things that happened to Joseph that would put anger in his heart toward other people. In our story today, the man he worked for, Potiphar, threw him in jail for something he didn't even do. Joseph was upset and angry. Do you think God wanted him to forgive Potiphar? I do. Do you think there's things in your life that happen or people that are mean to you that God wants you to forgive? I think so. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for these stories about Joseph. And thank you, Lord, that you have forgiven us for all the things that we've done wrong. And we pray that you would help us to forgive other people who are mean to us. And we pray in Jesus' name, amen.